The rally in the Hundred Acre Wood is named after the storybook home of Winnie the Pooh. It's a favorite of many drivers, largely because of the wide, rhythmically fast roads set in the Missouri foothills of the Ozark Mountains. The 2010 edition featured very high speeds under sunny skies, and huge crowds turned out to see teams at every stop, including the start of day two in Salem. Subaru Rally Team USA's Travis Mastrana and Christian Estrom held a comfortable lead as day two started. They continued to dominate the results sheet until stage 10, when a seemingly harmless slide into a drainage rut on the Tulsi Spectator stage caused irreparable rear suspension damage and forced them to retire. The joint is there, but I can't get the joint out of the control arm. I don't know. Bill Bacon and Peter Watt proved their skills extend beyond the snow and ice of Michigan Snowdrift Rally, where they finished third overall last month. Bacon and Watt drove hard on the flat-out roads to place their privateer Mitsubishi on the podium again in third place. Their consistency currently puts them in second place overall in the 2010 championship. Canadian stars Antoine Lestage and co-driver Natalie Richard were holding steady in second place behind Pastrana and Edstrom. Then came some fogging issues after a water crossing and a flat tire. Those things cost them over a minute, dropping them into third place. With Pastrana's retirement, Lestage battled hard to claw back time, winning the final three stages outright, but ran out of stage miles and had to settle for second just 20 seconds shy of the leading team. Second place wasn't a complete disappointment though, as the rock star Mitsubishi driver now leads the overall championship. 250. After inheriting the lead from Pastrana and with Lestage nipping at his heels, Ken Block and co-driver Alex Gelsomino couldn't rest easy in the lead. But Block and Gelsomino are always strong in Poo's one and acre wood. They drove hard down the stretch to maintain their advantage found themselves on top of the podium for a fifth straight time in Missouri. It's the team's first win in a new 2011 Ford Fiesta. Uh, Andreas Eriksson and his Allsburg's team and my team manager, Derek Doxey, they all worked extremely hard, made this happen for me. And uh, with a bit of luck, I ended up first place. So I drove like hell though. It was uh, some of the stages today were uh, Pretty the father-son team of Travis and Terry Hansen had another remarkable performance, winning the super production class by over two and a half minutes over their closest rivals. In the two-wheel drive class, Chris Duplessis and Catherine Woods remained dominant with another win in their 1990 Volkswagen Golf. Yes, it's that old. They cracked the top 10 overall with nearly a six-minute spread over reigning Group 2 champ Dylan Van Way. The next national event on the Rally America calendar is the Olympus Rally in Olympia, Washington. That's April 24th and 25th. Find out more, follow the action at rally-america.com.